Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and today we're going to be talking about whether you should study or consider studying law and criminology at university and specifically because I am at Cardiff University I will be talking from that viewpoint but this can be generalised to all the universities in the UK so without further ado let's get straight into the video and if you do like it like comment and subscribe and if you do have any questions feel free to drop it down in the comment section below or you can message me at Esther Wan on Instagram and I'll reply to you in like within a week or something like that. So the first thing I want to say is that specifically at Cardiff, when you study law and criminology, you have six modules. So for the law part, you have public, contract, criminal and legal foundations. Public law is like politics and you just understand the institutions and what um, acts impact uh, parliamentary sovereignty. Contract is about contracts that you enter with businesses, enterprises, companies and other people. Criminal is about what makes something a crime and you know to what extent like using past cases and, and legal foundations is the hierarchy of the legal systems and the interactions between this, these systems such as parliament, the court, the government, it kind of links to public law but it is something in itself as well. And on the criminology side there is foundations of contemporary criminology and there is key ideas in social science. Now foundations of contemporary criminology is about crime and different theories about crime such as critical criminology and how these theorists would understand crime and why they think crime exists and in key ideas in social science this is about ideas about societies so proletariat versus the bourgeoisie this basically in simple terms is like the working class versus the ruling class slash elite and there are a lot of theorists such as Marx and they explain like how society became capitalist and how that became came from like the Protestant work ethic and it is quite interesting. So at Cardiff Universities, this Cardiff University, these are the six modules that you'll be studying in first year and you do not get to pick these, these are automatically given to you. And at Cardiff University, you start off with six modules from the start. You don't do two each term, you literally just start with six. So for a lot of us, one week we will have four seminars and another week we will have two seminars. Besides the point, a lot of these modules are 20 credits and typically in first year you would need to complete 120 credits, so obviously 20 times 6 is 120. Uh, for the people doing straight law, so they are just studying law by itself, would do 30 credits for all four of the law modules, so the public one, the contract, criminal and the legal foundations. And so they would do it, they would study the topic more in depth. But I do want to say that if you do want to study law and criminology, brace yourselves because you will be studying more topics and you'll be studying the same topics, but you would be doing them in a less in depth focus but you'll be studying six topics and so you need to be on top of your work and it generally is more work and I remember my tutor saying that we would be behind the law students from the get-go because we have so much to do. So keep that in mind if you do want to study law and criminology. It is not easier than the law degree by itself because this is a joint honours degree. So you are technically studying two degrees in one. So be sure that you want to actually study law and criminology if you're coming into this and I know at Cardiff you can only switch your degrees at the end of the year or you can only transfer at the end of the year so think carefully because you have one year of suffering and pain if you don't enjoy this otherwise it would be glamorous it wouldn't be glamorous but it would be good for you you know so moving on to why I chose law now if you have a look at my personal statement or my personal statement video that I will link above somewhere there. I wanted to study law and criminology because I was really intrigued about wrongful convictions and I really want to go 
practice go into criminal law specifically with wrongful convictions innocence projects reading and participating in a lot of law opportunities really helped me to understand why i wanted to study law and that it was something that i actually wanted to do now keep in mind that obviously there were other degrees that were in my head such as theology and that was basically it, theology however i decided to choose law because it was something that i was intrigued in and i can always pick up theology on the side and I'm also very passionate about actually promoting justice. I don't like it when I see cases where people are genuinely innocent, but they are convicted for a crime that they haven't committed. So that is what made me, that is what compelled me to study law and criminology at university. Now, I do want to say that the first semester, obviously first year, I have been chilling a lot. Now, I do recognize that people do say first year doesn't count, so it doesn't really matter. However, you do need to pass this year and you need to achieve a 40% minimum. That is just the basic pass. And with the way things are going, if like I'm chilling a bit too much, I might not even pass this year. So you need to be very careful with your time management. And studying law can be intensive, but it's only as intensive as you make it. Obviously with all degrees, there is a basic requirement for you to do a lot of work. But because I am doing a joint honours degree, so law and criminology, I would be studying more than my single law peers. So you have to keep that in mind. However, you need to keep a balanced life. It is so important. A lot of people make jokes that law students do not have social lives. And to some extent that is true, but you need to remember that you need to live a balanced life and that you need to prioritize socializing with people so that you just don't get stuck in your room and you're studying 24 seven. Now, balance in life could be hanging out with friends, going to a restaurant, going to McDonald's even, or if you're in Cardiff, I would recommend you try Chaiwala. It is good authentic food and it's just great. However, I do need to stress that you should involve yourself in societies and just make sure you're living your student life basically because this is a limited amount of time that you're going to be at university and you might as well make the best of it and make connections too. However, specifically with the law and criminology degree, there is a lot of reading to complete. Now, it is not a joke when people say law students are just stuck in their books because we genuinely are. If you do want to achieve a 2-1 or a first, it is recommended that you do the recommended reading, the required reading, and then the extra reading. For now, I've just been doing the necessary reading because i am quite far behind and so i do need to catch up a lot but i believe this christmas i can do this in god's will and with reading this could be articles this could be books this could be case law which is so important especially in contract law because contract law everything's all over the place and you just need to know so much and you need to complete this because this will definitely help you in your essays and it will help you with your exams, your summatives and your formatives. And so I would really recommend that. If you are considering studying law and criminology, keep in mind that if you don't like reading, perhaps this is not for you, but in every single degree, you will have to do some type of reading. So it really just depends like what you are willing to do for a degree, basically. Law and criminology can be interesting, specifically criminology. However, there are some really Really dry topics and there are times where you won't understand anything but that is the beauty of your tutors your lecturers you can ask them questions and you can really question them because there are sometimes I don't understand a topic no matter how many times I've read the lecture slides or notes and it's just not clicking in my brain so be sure to ask your lecturers however with these topics it is there is a certain element to which you can prepare for it. So I have found that studying history and politics A-level has helped me to a certain degree with my law or studies, specifically with public law and legal foundations because it is somewhat covered in politics. However, this is not a requirement. So if you're not doing any essay-based subjects, 
then it is fine. If you are studying English literature or English language at A level, I believe this would really help you with your law degree if you do want to study law and criminology because it's a lot of reading, you get to analyse books and cases and you will know how to read properly. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of you know how to read properly. If you do want to study law and criminology, I would suggest you do some research as to what studying law actually entails. Now, for me, going back to my personal statement video, I researched a lot into criminal law and that is what primarily drove me to want to study a law and criminology degree. So do a bit of research into law, law or law and criminology and see what type of law is interesting or intrigues you. There are different types of law within law. Law isn't just one thing. There are different categories and it like, you know, it's like a tree and it's like starts off here and then it just branches out. So I'd really recommend you do your research, whether that is um, a mergers company case or whether that is fraud or whether that is relationships between husbands and wives and the contract between that. If that intrigues you, research into it. I will refer to all the books that I read in my personal statement down below or somewhere in this video. But I would recommend you do the research. And if you do want to study law and criminology, be wise about where you want to study it because law and criminology degrees and specifically law will vary between different universities as they specialize in different topics and different areas of the law. So do your research on that look at the complete university guide, look at the law league tables with what the student satisfaction is like, the core satisfaction, the social life. Make sure you complete your research and don't make the decision like me to just wing it, okay? From that research, you will be able to understand what attracts you to study law or law and criminology and why that attracts you and then that would be able to help you understand why or whether you should study law and criminology. I know you probably wanted this video to tell you why you should but it really is up to you and I cannot tell you what you should do with your life. I can only advise you to take steps to make sure that actually yes I do want to study law and criminology or actually no I do think this is interesting but I don't think I can commit three to five years of my life studying this topic. I do have to say that law is a widely respected degree and it is a popular degree like a lot of people will study law and it is one which will give you versatile and transferable skills such as communication, verbal communication, written communication, muting skills, reading skills, whatever it is. It is a really good degree if you do want to study it but make sure that you are actually passionate or passionate about one aspect of law so that it can really help you through the dry times or dry types of law. For example, I'm really interested in criminal law. So when it comes to studying the other types of law, it can be dry, but I remind myself that yes, I'm doing this because I'm so interested in this specific type of law and I do want to help people in the future. So I will have to go through this dry lesson or this dry semester, but ultimately in the end, it will be all good and it will be all worth it. So I really hope you found this video informative. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. I already said this at the beginning of the video. Again, message me on Instagram Instagram, the comment section or email me and I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in my next video.